Hi, I'm Xiaojie. It's very common for us to wonder what's wrong with me when faced with series of unsuccessful relationships. If you find yourself in a similar situation and want to understand why, this video is for you. Number one, hypervigilance. What does that mean? Those who are hypervigilant commonly experience feelings of anxiety due to their heightened sense of awareness and constant need to protect themselves from perceived threats. Many may not even realize that they are hypervigilant because it works at a, such a subconscious level. When we're young and less experienced, it's easier to trust. In Chinese culture, there's a saying, 出生牛犊不怕虎, a newborn calf is not afraid of a tiger. However, as we get older and go through heartbreaks and excruciating pain in relationships, we vow to protect ourselves and never put ourselves in a vulnerable position. While being wise and cautious can be helpful, some individuals develop an unhelpful and constant state of hypervigilance. Hypervigilance is frequently linked to um, a cognitive phenomenon of attention bias to a threat. This means paying closer attention to threatening information, in many cases, perceived threats in that environment. In my work with clients who have experienced trauma in their upbringing or abuse in their intimate relationships, I provide therapy for both individuals and groups. Um, for those who are curious about the effectiveness of group therapy for recovery, uh, you can check out the summary article linked in the description. In uh, what way can hypervigilance affect our daily relationships? If you experience hypervigilance, my next video will provide a comprehensive overview um, of its classic signs in terms of emotions, thoughts, behavior, and physical well-being. By highlighting these indicators, you can then better understand and identify if you are hypervigilant. So stay tuned.